It is quite the day for news here on Dash Detailed. Let me get started by telling you that the Dash APIs, as developed by BlockCypher, are now ready to use. For a bit of background, the partnership with the API company BlockCypher was proposed by Dash Core business developer Daniel Diaz a number of months ago, and the releases include an asset API, data endpoint, multiple address wallet API, multi-signature API, payment forwarding API, transaction API, webhooks, and web sockets. BlockCypher is a freemium business model, meaning that anybody can create an account with them, use their APIs for free up until 2,000 calls per day. This segues very nicely into today's business and headline section in that the Dash Core business development team was not kidding when they said that there was a queue of businesses waiting for these APIs to be released before they would add Dash. First set to add Dash is the exchange and trading platform Whale Club. To find out more about what Whale Club is and what they offer, I contacted their CPO, Ian Glindro. Here he is. The so Whale Club is a trading platform that allows people to use Bitcoin and soon Dash to trade uh, financial markets like uh, stocks, uh, oil, gold, uh, bonds, currencies, um, and also cryptocurrencies like uh, Bitcoin and Monero and also Dash. So the best way to think of this, I guess, it's, it's pretty simple. If you've ever used um, E-Trade or a similar broker uh, with a fiat or dollars, uh, Whale Club is uh, pretty similar, except instead of depositing um, fiat uh, dollars, euros or pounds, you would deposit uh, digital currency. Uh, so you deposit Bitcoin or Dash and uh, you trade uh, financial markets. You don't need an ID to uh, get started. You just need an email and uh, you can get up and running in a few minutes. Dash will be only the second cryptocurrency after Bitcoin to be added as a base trading pair to Whale Club. And the integration is set to launch this coming Monday, April 17th. And Whale Club is not the only exchange set to add Dash in the near future. BitInca is a Latin American-based Bitcoin seller, as well as remittance service, which has been using Bitcoin as a backend to facilitate remittance payments among eight Latin American countries. The Bitcoin selling side is what's known as BitInca, and the remittance service is known as Inca Pay. Dash is now set to be added to both of those services. Again, as the only cryptocurrency to be added aside from Bitcoin. And it too will use the BlockCypher APIs. Countries to be supported by the remittance branch IncaPay are Chile, Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Colombia, Venezuela, Bolivia, and Spain. In the non-exchange world of businesses, there are three accepting Dash, some more recently than others. First is Pure VPN, which, yes, as it sounds, is a virtual private network service offering uh, increased privacy on the web. Next is the Carolina Bee Honey Company, which offers honey-based edibles, candles, and body products. And lastly is Wabo, a company selling insulated steel thermoses meant to be customized. You can find links to the businesses discussed today, as well as all of today's show links in the description below. Let's move on to price movement, shall we? In US dollars, current Dash price is roughly $61.98 per coin. The trade volume of the last 24 hours is roughly 13 million US dollars worth of Dash. Our current coin supply is just over 7.2 million coins, and our market capitalization for today is 448 million US dollars. What does that look like in a broader context? Well, here's our three month market cap chart. Here's our one year. And here's our lifetime. 
At this valuation, then, this month's available treasury is roughly 422,000 US dollars worth of Dash, of which roughly 30,000 has been allocated so far in approved proposals. Jumping to network statistics then, today's masternode count is 4,271 masternodes, which is up 71 masternodes from last week. Here's the masternode lifetime chart. In mining, today's hash rate is 3.11 terahashes per second, which is a slight uptick from what it was one week ago. Here's our hash rate then for the past three months, the past year, and the past three years since we began. Speaking of mining, a new Dash mining pool has been announced, which resides at dash.cryptopool.io. If you have experience with this pool and would care to leave a review either in the comment section of this video or on any of Dash's social channels, I'm sure that would be much appreciated. Wrapping up our network statistics, we now have about 19 days until the deadline for both voting and proposal submission, although that should happen the other way around. Proposals come in, masternodes vote on them. And finally, to social happenings. Dash Core Head of Business Development Daniel Diaz, he's all over the show today, as well as Head of Growth at BlockCypher Karen Su, are set to present Dash in Santa Clara, California at Blockchain360. Blockchain360 is expected to draw roughly 11 thousand people and focuses largely on the internet of things. So in that light, blockchain technology is being presented as a relatively new thing at the conference and Daniel and Karen will be speaking on Thursday, May 18th. Elsewhere in social happenings, the treasury funded effort Dash Force has announced the winners of two different contests. First winner is Jim Bursch who won one Dash for hosting a Dash meetup at a Denny's in Los Angeles. And the second winner is Alex R.U., who won three Dash for giving a presentation about Dash in Moscow, as seen here. Elsewhere in Social Happenings, Dash developer Joshua Segler appeared on the Future Tech podcast, and boy, did I learn something about the long-term numerical effects of inflation. And finally, in Social Happenings, Dash sponsored Brazilian MMA fighter Davis dos Santos did a KO in his match that took place last week. That's it for Dash Detailed today. Next week, you can expect a special episode from us that's different from the norm. We've received so many requests for a private send explainer video that we have put one together for you in classic whiteboard style. So if you've not yet been schooled, be prepared to be so. And finally, come back this Friday for the next in our Spotlight series, which will feature an interview with longtime community member Alex R.U., broadcasting from an undisclosed bunker somewhere in Russia. Alex R.U. is the head of Russian outreach on the Dash Core team, learned English so he could invest in Dash and share it with his countrymen, and you won't want to miss it. See you then.